Good day, everyone. We are going to discuss today the genetically modified organisms with a touch of science, health, and politics. The learning objectives are to know what is GMO and its purpose, to know the production of genetically modified organisms, to learn about genetic engineering versus traditional breeding, to identify the advantages and disadvantages of GMO, and to learn about the sociopolitical relevance of GMO. So what is GMO or genetically modified organism? A genetically modified organism is one whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering. This is commonly used in food and medicine. What is the purpose of GMO? To develop crops with drought, pest, and disease-resistant traits, to improve nutritional content, for example, golden rice contains higher vitamin A content to reduce blindness in impoverished communities. And lastly, for medical purposes. Three types of gene modification. This includes traditional crop modification, genetic engineering, and genome editing. In traditional crop modification, New varieties are developed either by selecting plants with desirable characteristics or by combining qualities from two closely related plants through selective breeding. Genetic engineering, on the other hand, is a method that, among other things, enables scientists to copy a gene with the desired trait in one organism and put it into another. It has been used since 1970 and builds on the scientific advances made in the study of DNA. Lastly, genome editing is a new method that gives scientists more precise and targeted ways to develop new crop varieties. Let us go to the production of GMO. Production of GMOs is a multi-stage process which can be summarized as follows. First is the identification of the gene interest. Second is the isolation of the gene of interest. Third is amplifying the gene to produce many copies. Fourth is associating the gene with an appropriate promoter and poly A sequence and insertion into plasmids. Fifth is multiplying the plasmid in bacteria and recovering the clone construct for injection. Sixth is the transference of the construct into the recipient tissue, usually fertilized eggs. Seventh, inheritance of gene through further generations. Eighth, Expression of gene in recipient genome. And lastly, integration of gene into recipient genome. Let us move on to the genetic engineering versus traditional breeder. Traditional or conventional breeding relies primarily on selection, using natural processes of sexual and asexual reproduction. Meanwhile, genetic engineering utilizes a process of insertion of genetic material via a gene gun or other direct gene introduction methods or by a specially designed bacterial truck which does not occur in nature. So what are the advantages of GMO? It is beneficial in producing edible vaccines or medicines. It improves the qualities of certain crops and producing safer food. It may cause breeding with increased yield while reducing the use of pesticides. It allows more profit and it decreases the prices of food. 
What are the disadvantages of GMO? It may cause health risks. It may cause environmental risks. It is a threat to biodiversity. It increases social differences. And it is a potential threat to autonomy and welfare of farmers who wish to produce non-genetically modified products. What is the social-political relevance of GMOs? While GMOs offer many potential benefits to society, the potential risks associated with them have fueled controversy, especially in the food industry. Many skeptics warn about the dangers that GM crops may pose to human health. For example, genetic manipulation may potentially alter the allergenic properties of crops. From the late 1990s, the European Union addressed such concerns by implementing strict GMO labeling laws. In the early 2000s, all GM foods and GM animal feeds in the Europe were required to be labeled if they consisted of or contained GM products in a proportion greater than 0.9%. Despite the concerns of some consumer and health groups, especially in Europe, numerous scientific panels including the U.S. Food and Drug Administration concluded that the consumption of GM foods was safe. Similar to many other technologies, gene therapy and the production and application of GMOs can be used to address and resolve complicated scientific, medical, and environmental issues, but they must be used wisely. GMOs benefit mankind when used for purposes such as increasing the availability and quality of food and medical care and contributing to a cleaner environment. If used wisely, they could result in an improved economy without doing more harm than good. And they could also make the most of their potential to alleviate hunger and disease worldwide.